Hey everyone, I was creating the character for my third person Unreal Engine 4 course and decided to do a tutorial covering the four stages of development. I thought it would be a great idea as we have the game jam coming up soon. The four stages are modeling, rigging, weight painting, and animation. Today we'll be covering modeling, tomorrow rigging, and Sunday animation. In order to join in, you will need Blender, you'll also need a basic understanding of the user interface, and simple modeling techniques. If you're new to Blender, check the description, there'll be a tutorial for it. Let's start by modeling our character. So it's going to be really simple, we're going to start with the cube here. We're going to press tab to go into edit mode, select the face mode, right click to select faces, and let's extrude upwards. So press E, we're going to press shift and tab which will allow us to snap. We'll move it up by two. And then we are going to press right click, press E again. Now, if you hold shift and move down, it goes in smaller increments. So let's go about here. We can press S to scale, hold shift, move it in a little bit. And then press tab, we'll press S. Then we're going to press X, uh, Y to get the Y axis, so X, Z, X, and Y give you different axes to work with. So press Y, we're going to scale it out a little bit. We're going to press tab again, right click on the top face, uh, press E, hold shift, bring it up. And then we will press S and hold shift and we'll just scale it in a bit. And we'll do that just once. And then what we're going to do is work on the headpiece now, so that's the body of the robot. Let's create a sphere and let's make it something like 12 by 12 and see how that looks. Should be good. Uh, by reducing the rings, we can bring down the faces and vertices. By default, spheres take up a lot of faces and verts. So we're going to bring this up and scale this out. Let's scale it, so press S and bring it on the Y axis. So it's kind of like a football head, like Hey Arnold. And uh, let's just scale it out a bit more. We'll fine tune this after. We'll then create a cube and bring this out. So what we're doing is we're just creating like the, the base using basic shapes and then we'll make it a bit better after. So let's bring this down, press tab, right clicks like that and we'll just bring it up. And these are going to be side additions. We will press E, hold shift, bring this up, scale in, press E again, hold shift, bring it up, scale in again. And then we'll do one more. And that should be good. We can then press S, then go to X for that axis and bring it out a little. And then we will press tab again. Now I want to do an addition here. So we'll go to tools. We're going to go to loop cut and slide. We'll select here and then just bring it up to about there. And um, we're going to use that later. And we should save this. So control S. I'm going to call this the tutorial bot. And I'm going to so I'm making one half of it and we'll duplicate the rest over later. So let's create the hand now. Get a, create a cube, we'll bring it down. We're gonna press tab, we'll select the bottom face. So face mode, bottom face, press E, bring it down a bit, scale it in. Then we will select the top, scale it up. This time we're going to select the edge tool, right click on that edge, and we'll bring it up by about, we can try one unit for now. Press tab and let's select the face, this one here, and this one here, we can press S, go to the Y axis, hold shift, and we can bring it out a little bit, just to make that shape a bit more interesting. We can also do it a bit on these two faces, so press S, go to the X, hold shift, and bring it out a bit. And now we can move this in place, and we will scale this down a bit. Now with the body, 
let's press tab and we're going to hold control and we're going to just left click and drag and select all these a really quick way to select those we're going to left click hold shift and bring it down and then we're going to press s we're going to scale on the y-axis and bring it in a little bit so I'm going to, uh, maybe hold shift bring it in something like this and let's press tab right click that face bring it back we're going to press e hold shift to bring it scale it in a bit and uh, left click hold shift and just bring it down actually we'll press shift tab and we'll just left click this down and press shift tab to go back to snapping so that should work really well and there is one thing i want to do on this foot so let's go back to tools make sure you're in edit mode by pressing tab go to loop cut and slide and let's bring this here then drag it to about there we will bring one more left click and that's good okay and the last thing we need is to create a vSphere and we can make this much less let's try six by six so that's good and this is going to be the eye so let's bring it up here press s to scale that in then we can press s and go to the z-axis and give it a bit of height and we will just hold shift and move it around i'm going to use these lines as a reference we can fix it up later uh something like this should work well maybe bring it into about there okay and we will uh, assign some colors and then we will duplicate and get this working. So over here on this object here, we're going to press tab and go to face mode, select all. So just press A twice. Then we're going to hit the plus button for a new material. We're going to create a new material. This is going to be the base color. Whoops, base color. And we will assign the base color. Then what we're going to do is select these faces, these four here. Remember, if you hold shift and right click, you can select multiple faces. Press the plus button again. Now we're going to create a new material. And this can be the, whoops, hit my mic, the blue uh, detail. We're going to click here for defuse, select a blue. It doesn't matter too much for right now because we're going to change this inside of Unreal or Unity or whatever engine you use. Then hit Assign, and you'll notice it's gone blue. I'm just going to change that to something like that for now. Then we can go into the eye. We can click here, and we can get blue detail. We can select the head, click here, base color, click the body, go for base color, and select the um, hand, base color, press Tab. We can select these sections and assign. So a new, click here, blue detail, and assign. We can go to the foot, tab, face mode, select these faces, new, and then we can click uh, blue detail. Oh, I should click base color. Click new again, blue detail, assign. And now we're getting somewhere. We can select the body here, press tab. We can select this face and this face, press E to extrude, S, and we're gonna scale this in. And then we're going to press S and scale this on the Y out. And what we can do here is make it a bit more interesting. We can select that face, shift select that face, press the plus button, select blue detail, assign. And now it's as if the hand can connect here. Now I can press Shift D, go to the Y, and bring it over. Same thing for the hand. If it, I just want to make sure the scale is correct. Uh, Shift D, Y, bring it over. Then you can press R, Z, and you can just rotate it 180 degrees and bring it in. You might have to hold Shift to bring it in a bit. And we can do the same thing here. Shift D. Y-axis, hold shift, there we go. Shift D, 
Y axis, Hold Shift, and something like that. Now we can modify this easily to get the look we want and change things around. I think the body's a bit too big, so I'm just going to scale this in, bring it up a bit. That's better. I'm going to scale the hands down to about there. Delete this, Shift D, bring it on the Y, just bring it over like that. We're going to go into T pose for rigging. So I'm going to press R, go to the X axis, and bring it like this. Hold Shift and bring it up. I'm just going to loosely align it with this for now. And do the same thing here. And the reason why, let's bring that like that. Actually, let's see. Let's delete this one. Shift D, bring it on the Y. R, press Z, rotate it. Yep. And bring it out. Now, if you want, you can bring it out to the distance you want it to be from the body. And that's where we'll set up the rigs so or something like that. And let's bring the feet up a bit. I'm going to hold left click and shift, bring it over. Save that. And that should be it for the basis of our character. I might bring these back a little bit. And I might scale these in a little bit on the Y. So I'm going to do two. Actually, let's redo that. So S, press Y, one, whoops. One, two, S, Y, one, two. All right, that's looking good. That's the, that's it for the model. Let's go on to rigging it. Thanks for watching everyone. The rigging tutorial will be out tomorrow. Just to let you all know, the Ludum Dare Jam is on this weekend if you want to participate. I hope you all have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next video.